Professor Hopkins, uh, do those values and morality exist among progressives and liberals? <laughs> um, well, gosh, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that, um, you know, one of the things that we've seen uh, during the Trump years, um, I think, has been that, um, you know, it's, it's funny, parties and, and ideologies are often kind of formed in part by, by who they're opposing at any given time. And, and one of the things that, that, that strikes me um, during the Trump years is how much, um, you know, the liberal opposition to Trump has, uh, has sort of taken the moral high ground very, you know, very explicitly, very rhetorically. I'm sort of saying, you know, what, what he's, he's a morally, you know, bad person or he's an immoral person or he, he, he doesn't have these values that, that are supposed to be universal values. And so therefore, um, you know, therefore we, we cast, and, and so, you know, talking about going back to the 80s and the closing the American mind and sort of the, the old style liberalism of who are we to judge anybody, moral relativism, you know, we don't see that so much anymore, right? We see a, a much more morally, um, you know, more sort of explicitly morally based kind of objection to Trump on, on the left than I think we saw to, to previous uh, Republican presidents. Can I just add real quick, Larry, Larry on, on, on that? Peter um, the the um, Jonathan Hyde, who's, who teaches at, at, at New York University and wrote several really good books, including The Righteous Mind, he, he did something in The Righteous Mind that I thought was very helpful, which is he articulated a difference or a hierarchy of values between people who were progressive and conservative. So, uh, you know, say order and dissent. Um, there's a tropism that people have when they're progressive or they're, or they're conservative. That is, they're drawn to certain kinds of, of, of um, moral virtues or, or, or qualities. Um, and that is what often explains the differences, the collision between progressives and Conservatives doesn't mean that one is more moral than the other necessarily. It means that you pl place different weight and emphasis. And the, the truth is that there can be virtue in both of them. And a political system and a country works best when there's a kind of healthy synergy where, where it's not all of one or all of the other. Somehow they work together. You, you help each other to refine each other's views and take them into account. But part of the problem, I would say, in, in, in political discourse today is this idea that you don't have opponents, you have enemies, and that if you hold a view different than I do, it makes you wicked uh, or, or, or malicious or malevolent, where often what is at stake is simply a different appreciation for values and how one tries to, to, to balance those things. Mm -hmm.